Alright guys, I am back with Redneck Island Episode 2. Uh, the recap, I guess. And I thought this was another good episode. This show is... It's got some stuff. It's got something to it. Um, I have been enjoying this so far. Uh, this show starts off... They talk about what happened in the first episode. How the um, blue team won the golden porta potty And they're being really nice and letting the orange team use it. Um, everybody's still being super nice right now. Uh, they, when someone wins something, they share it. Uh, a box washes on shore with parts to build a shower out of like a bicycle. So uh, when someone's pedaling, water comes out and you can take a shower. And just different things like that have been happening. Um, Adam and some of the girls build a raft to go catch fish. And this just gets destroyed by waves. Um, it was pretty funny. However, Cassandra actually ends up hurting her knee. Uh, so Blue Team is freaking out. Dove, who's the captain, she's telling everybody, be careful. Um, stop doing this. Stop doing that. You know, just sit still. We can't have any more injuries on our team. Um, which, I mean, I can understand because everybody seems to be getting injured on the Blue Team. And the one guy, Tex, is mad. He's like, I don't need a mother out here and all this stuff. And so people are kind of getting fed up with Dove. Uh, then we get a new member. Rob shows up to replace one of the other guys, and he seems all right. Uh, I think he was from Kentucky, and he seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, he seems to be in shape. Um, there's a part here where they actually find and eat an iguana. Uh, I don't know. Like I thought, isn't that like animal cruelty or something? Because, I mean, they trap this thing, and they kill it, and then they eat it. I, I don't know. I don't know how that comes into play, but it happens. Uh, then Steve Austin comes down to spend some time with the group. This was actually pretty funny because uh, he asks them if there's anything they would like that he can, you know, maybe try and get them in a challenge. And Eric says he'd like a margarita machine. And Bobo says, what do you want margaritas for? What are you, a wussy? And Steve Austin says, I drank four margaritas last night. You calling me a wussy? And it was just a really funny back and forth segment. And then he has Dove sing a song. She's a Dolly Parton tribute artist. And he asks her to sing a song. And then they play like this montage where it makes it look like the song lasted forever. People are saying, um, I thought she was just going to sing a few verses and she sang the whole song. It shows it go from like daytime to nighttime while she's singing this one song and everybody's looking really bored. Uh, it was funny. So then we get to the challenge which is each team has to slingshot some coolers and to some other team members who have nets and an inner tube around them and they have to catch the coolers and then hang the coolers up uh, while the opposite team shoots at the coolers with paintballs which will make the coolers dead and they won't count. Um, at first I was thinking this sounds kind of dangerous just launching coolers at these people but uh, nobody got hurt from this and it actually goes to the orange team. They win so blue team has to go to elimination. Blue team is Tex, Dove, Jennifer, Cassandra, and Rob, the new guy. And I felt really bad for this guy because the whole time Dove is saying and the others are saying that you know we knew that if it came down to this uh, the new guy Rob's going home. And I'm just thinking man that's kinda shitty for this guy. Uh, he just gets there and because they lost the first challenge he's just gonna have to get right back on the plane and go home because Dove has an alliance with the other girls. So I felt really bad for this guy, but they're all really nice and on eliminations. Uh, Dove says, um, I just want to say before we vote that it's not anything personal. We don't, it's not that we don't like somebody. It's just, you know, we have to vote somebody off. And then you hear, like, Tex say, well, you know, Rob's a stronger competitor. Dove can't really do a lot. And then you hear some of the girls saying the same thing, and I'm like, okay something's going on here it could be Rob it could be Dove and during the voting I was actually thinking it's gonna be Rob they're making it look like these guys are gonna vote Dove off but it's gonna be Rob uh, but no they vote Dove off and I was just shocked I was like wow and so she goes and she has a speech and she tells the other team members that the girls have an alliance and she's like you screwed me and stabbed me in the back I'm gonna screw you guys and uh, let everybody know what's going on that the girls have an alliance to vote all the men off well apparently they don't anymore so it doesn't really matter 
But I just know that towards the end of this series, it's going to have an episode where they bring back everybody who got voted off or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was a shocking thing. And I just thought it was kind of funny that she made that speech like, it's not personal, it's not that we don't like anybody, and then she's the one that goes home. But yeah, all in all, this was a, another great episode, and I'm looking forward to next week's. i big fan of Survivor-type shows, reality shows, and uh, this is a good one. So if you didn't know about this show or weren't really interested before, you should definitely give it a chance because I hear it's doing good ratings too. and uh, It definitely deserves them. So that's it, guys. This is Redneck Island Episode 2. Leave your thoughts on this video in the comments below, and thanks for watching.